Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna talk about coplanar circles and common tangents. So when we talk about coplanar circles, we're talking about circles that are in the same plane. And when we have two circles in the same plane, they could intersect in three different ways. So the first way we see right here on the left side of our screen, we could have two points of intersection. All right, so that's kind of where our two circles would almost look like a Venn diagram, if you can think about that, um, where we have two intersection points in our circles. Next, we could have one point of intersection, and this could look um, two different ways. We could have this example here where we have uh, one circle inside of another, and we have this point of tangency right here uh, where the two circles intersect. Or we could have a diagram like this where we still have two circles, they still intersect at one point, that point of tangency, but now one circle is, is outside of the other. Okay, so we would call these tangent circles because this line right here would be our tangent line. All right, and then lastly, our two circles could not intersect, and this could look two ways as well. We could have two circles like this where they're just next to each other, and one's not inside of the other, nothing like that. Um, or we could have um, two circles where one is inside the other, and they are, um, in this case, these would be concentric circles, um, and that just means they share the same center point. Okay. Now we could also have two circles inside one another. You know, let's say we moved this circle in here. Um, now we still don't have a point of intersection, but also those are not concentric circles because the midpoint or because the center of the circle would not be the same for those two circles. Okay. So let's talk a little bit more about tangent circles. So when we talk about tangent circles, we have some common tangents, and we have two types of common tangents. We could have an internal and an external common tangent. So let's talk about those. So a tangent is just a line or a segment um, that is tangent to two coplanar circles. So remember um, in a previous video, I will link it in the cards right now, we've talked about lines and segments that intersect circles and the tangent was one of those. Um, a tangent line is just a line that intersects the circle at exactly one point. So we could have a common internal tangent. So what is a common internal? It just says that it intersects the segment that joins the centers of the two circles. So if we have two circles where we can see the centers and if we imagine connecting those two centers of the circles, um, and then if we have a tangent that could split between the two circles, then that would be considered a common internal tangent. On the other hand, a common external tangent simply does not intersect the segment that joins the centers of the circle. So those are gonna be kind of on the outsides of our circles. So we're gonna look at about six different examples here where we are going to draw our external tangents in yellow and our internal tangents in white. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do this. So for number one, we have two circles here. They are not intersecting. So if we drew our external tangents, we would have one that looks like this and we would have one that looks like this. Okay, so those are our two external tangents. And now if we think about connecting these two points, which would be our two center points, then we also have two tangents that would look like this. So there's one, and we also have another one that could go the other way. All right, there we go. So now we have, um, let's take away this segment in the middle there. And now what we have is we have two external tangents and two internal tangents. All right, let's look at number two. Okay, so now we have um, two circles that are intersecting in one point. So we could draw our external tangents on the side right here. Okay, so there's one, and here would be our other. Okay, so we still have two external tangents, but now we are only going to have one internal tangent, all right? So once again, if we drew this segment right here, we see that that white tangent, that internal tangent is going to intersect the segment that joins the two centers of these circles. So that would be our internal tangent, okay? All right, our third example down here, we can still draw two external tangents. So let's draw those in there. All right. And now let's think about drawing an internal tangent. Well, we can't, we can't add in a line here, for example, like this, right? Because that's not where my circles are intersecting. So in this case, there are no internal tangents. We only have the two external tangents. All right, and number four, and we're done <laughs> because if we look at number four, there is no points of intersection there. So we can't draw any tangents. So no common tangents for number four, right? Because those are not intersecting. All right, last two examples. 
So number five here, um, we are able to draw an external tangent. We can draw it right here, but that is all we can do. So this one just has one external tangent, but no internal tangents. All right, and number six, we can draw a couple external tangents, um, one across the bottom here and one across the top right here. And we can also draw two internal tangents. So we could draw one right here and we could draw one right here, okay? All right, and that is how you um, identify coplanar circles and how you can identify common internal and external tangents. <laughs>